it going everyone what's up and welcome back to the channel um today we're going to be talking about predator hunting grounds because it came out last night and we played it live on our stream for about three or four hours last night and we had some fun with it but i wanted to talk about my first impressions today but before we get into that if you guys are really interested in this game and just can't get enough of it and you enjoy watching it live and interacting with a streamer who actually you know talks and responds to their chat uh i stream every night on twitch.tv slash tv the link's in the description below we're doing a giveaway right now uh when we hit 20 subs we're giving away a 25 dollars psn or xbox card and when we hit 3,000 followers we're giving away a 10 dollars psn or xbox live card so if you guys are interested in that link in the description below to the twitch channel so head over there give us a follow sub if you want to um but yeah let's go ahead and get into the video um so predator hunting grounds is it good Yes, I will say it's good. It's definitely, I don't know if I go as far as to say it's great or anything. It's definitely worth, I wouldn't even say it's worth full price with the current state it's in right now. Um, last night we had a lot of trouble finding a game. And that was just because, I mean, it's launch day for a server-based game, um, an online game. So, of course, it's going to be pretty bad, you know. To find games but i mean we were sitting there for 15 minutes at a time looking for a game so i mean that's a flaw but that's a flaw that can be fixed so i don't really want to talk about the the stuff to do with the servers so much as the stuff to do with the actual game so is the gameplay fun yeah the gameplay is pretty damn fun um playing as the predator i mean i hate when people say you feel like you're the thing like when i'm playing spider-man i feel like i'm playing playing spider-man when i'm playing mortal kombat i feel like i'm playing scorpion or when i'm playing a wolverine game i feel like i'm playing wolverine or some shit like that i, I don't like that when you're playing predator you feel like a scary but cautious character that can do damage but also takes a lot of damage you're not invincible um and on the flip side with the with the uh, hunters, I don't know what they're, they're called, the, the military, whatever, um, you feel like you're powerful. You know you have a health bar. You know it's not that high. You know the Predator can get you in 45, uh, four or five hits, but you know you can still do damage. Like, the Predator can die pretty fast in the game. The Predator can actually die pretty, pretty damn fast. If all four people are firing at him at the same time and he's trying to kill someone, and even after he kills them, he's got to actually execute them, you can die pretty quick. Uh, and that's one thing I'm not liking too much about that. Um, Predator, even with, like, the abilities and perks to slow down being, taking damage from bullet-based guns, you still take a good amount of damage and you still die pretty quick. I haven't gotten... To the point where I've unlocked the um, the Juggernaut Predator that has all the armor and everything. But as far as normal base Hunter Predator goes, you die fairly quick. You really have to be smart playing Predator to survive. But at the same time, it goes that way for Survivor too. If you get caught away from your team, away if you're not at least running in a group of two and the Predator catches you out, you're fucking dead. There's no getting around it. You are dead right then and there unless the Predator is a complete potato you're dead but i do want to talk about predator for a minute because as far as the actual survivor go the military it, it, as far as it goes it's i won't say it's solid it feels like another shooter game it's a first person you have your guns you have you know your basic buttons you have your grenades you have your healing kit you have your objectives that you do it's pretty set in stone basic stuff we've seen it all before uh, so there's not really much to talk about there, but when it comes to Predator, there's actually a lot to talk about. Um, with my first impressions last night, it was, at first I was having a lot of fun. I figured out all the controls, it took me a game or two to actually figure out all the controls and get them down. Um, but when it came down to it, I was having a lot of fun, you know, with the Preg core as they call it, with uh, hunting down the survivors and everything else. But after about an hour or two of actually being able to play, because it took about an hour and... We played about three games in an hour and a half, and they were all Survivor. So when we finally got to play Killer, um, when we finally got to play the Predator, it was exciting, it was fun, it felt good. But after about another hour and a half after that, into actually playing four or five games with the Predator, the gameplay when it comes to Predator is really clunky. It's fun. It's really fun. But it's also really clunky. Uh, you feel stiff. 
uh, your preg cord does not always work. Uh, there were multiple times, and you might see it in the video, where I go to jump for a tree, and I'll press X on the tree, it'll do the animation, and then he'll just turn the other way mid-air and start falling back to the ground. Um, the lunge, or the dive attack, or not even attack, just the dive move in general, uh, it feels also very clunky. You can only dive to the ground, you can't really position precisely where you're jumping to or anything like that. And even when it came to the actual dive attack, the attack that you can charge up uh, mid-dive and do damage, it felt like that barely ever wanted to come out when you actually press the input. So the preg core really feels very, very clunky. It's hard to actually precisely get what limb of a tree you're wanting to jump on. It's really, really clunky and hard to actually get off of a tree limb unless you use the dive feature. Uh, it's just really clunky when it comes to preg core. It does not feel very smooth whatsoever. If you're in a straight line running, just holding the X button, it feels really smooth. You're on a, a set, like, uh, line that you're running through. But if you're trying to, like, venture off on other paths to get around the survivors or flank the survivors or jump in on top of the survivors, it's very clunky. It's very clunky unless you're going in a complete straight path. Um, and also when it came to his weapons, it really doesn't explain many... It doesn't explain damage on his weapons, it doesn't explain uh, attack speed on his weapons, it doesn't explain even charging the shoulder cannon. A little tip to you guys if you're new to playing the game and you don't understand this and you're wondering why your uh, proton cannon is doing like no damage, your shoulder cannon's doing no damage, it's because it literally does about 10 health if you just hold the button and just shoot immediately. You have to charge it for it to do anything and the game doesn't explain that. It explains a lot. It's got really good tutorials and in depth. I had to actually go look at them for once and explain it. It explained a lot to me. But I think the overall thing, the overall impression I have of playing Predator so far is it's fun when it works. It's fun when it feels smooth. It's fun when you're running in a straight line in the Pred Core. Um, another thing with Predator is his lunge attacks. Uh, you know, like Dead by Daylight, it has a lunge attack. You hold the button, the attack button down, you lunge at him. Um, Predator has, like, this kind of weird, like, lock-on system to where you can, like, lunge at someone, and you lunge at them, and it barely works half the time. You'll just end up smacking the air in front of you. Uh, it's very, very spotty, whether it works or not. Like, you'll lunge and not actually lunge. And, uh, overall, the melee, the melee, uh, damage is very, very low, so, and the, uh, damage that you're taking from gunshots is very, very high, so... If it doesn't work, you're getting fucked pretty often. There were many times that you might actually see in the video where I was attacking someone and the lunge wasn't working, like the attack was not working, and I was having to actually get two or three hits in on a guy, which is not good. You're wanting to be killing at least one person in every encounter, every every time you go in. And I was only getting like two or three hits on a guy, enough for him to heal up to full health and one uh, healing stick, and I was having to actually run away and hide in a bush and heal myself which is not good uh now i know that's not for every weapon so far i got to the actual i got to the sword and i was using the basic uh wrist wrist swords wrist knives or whatever the fuck they're called and uh my experience with that is the lunge is not good it doesn't lunge it's very spotty um as far as on the ground with the predator uh as far as that goes it's it feels really good on the ground, actually. Like, when you're on the ground chasing people around, it works really well until you start attacking them. Um, it's not the most in-depth thing ever. I like the Predator's abilities. I like how he can mimic uh, like he can in the movie. Like, he can mock them and mimic them. I like how he's got his uh, thermal vision to where he can see heat signatures and everything else. It fucks with my eyes because I got bad eyes. And I like how he's got his cloak. And I like how once you take damage, it can start to malfunction and shit. That's, that's really cool. I like how they brought this shit from the Predator movies into the game. And they, they made it work in gameplay. That is really cool. Overall, the design of the game is awesome. The design, they knock it out of the park with the, the design. The customization is really cool. It's not very, very in-depth when it comes to Predator. Um, but as far as the survivor goes, you can get different hacks, eyewear, uh, heads, hairs, different hair colors, different outfits. You got different classes uh, for Predator and Survivor. The, there's customization there. Not as much as, as as in Dead by Daylight, and it's not going to be a direct comparison to Dead by Daylight, but it is another asymmetrical 4-on-1 game. Um, 
So there's customization. That's really cool. There's loot boxes. I don't know if you can spend real money to buy the loot boxes or not. I haven't looked into it. I'm not going to. But there's loot boxes to where you get the weapon skins and game uh, and different predator skins and stuff like that. That's really cool. Um, I, I'd say the main problem I have with the with the gameplay right now is actually probably the biggest problem with the game. And that is Predator just feels clunky. Survivor, I mean, you, you don't really need to talk about Survivor. You got, it's basic FPS bullshit. You know, it's run here, shoot this, shoot that, collect that, wait here, evacuate, or kill the Predator. It's really cool. Uh, it, it works, you know, shoot the AIs. It, it, it works. That's just what it is. You can put mud on yourself to hide yourself from the thermal imaging of the Predator. Uh, it's, it, they got some cool features like that. Um, but I, I really don't like how clunky the Predator is. And of course, they're going to work on the game. I, just my main problem with my first impression of this, and it's never good to have a first impression like this for a game that literally just came out. My first impression was, uh, I was thinking in my head about three hours into playing the game. I was like, this is going to be fun for about two weeks. This is going to be new and relevant flavor of the week for about two or three weeks. And then I'm going to have unlocked everything I'm gonna have played on every map a thousand times. I'm gonna be have played as Survivor and Predator a thousand times. And it's gonna be just running through the motions over and over and over again. Everything's gonna be unlocked and everything else. There's gonna be nothing new to the gameplay except the survivors and the different ways you get shot and you kill people. I, I was thinking in my head, this is gonna be fun for about two or three weeks. And then I'm gonna go back to my main asymmetrical game, which is Dead by Daylight. Um... I feel like for this game to stay alive for longer than two to three weeks, because first night it only had about 3.4 uh, thousand viewers on Twitch, which isn't terrible, but usually new games that are hyped up around a big license have around 50 to 60 thousand, at least 20 to 30 uh, on release night, but that's not the case with Predator. I'm really hoping I'm wrong about it, but it seems like it's just going to be a flavor of the week. Uh, a lot like Friday the 13th was, but even that got to continue to support different Jasons and everything else. There's not much more you can add to the Predator game for the Predator that they don't already have besides maybe different weapons. But even then, they have a good selection of Predator weapons, which kind of scares me. The most you can really do is new skins and shit. What I'm hoping for is since Mortal Kombat was able to get the license for Alien... Uh, the old Predator game had Alien in it, Alien vs. Predator. I'm hoping these guys can get the license to Alien too, and add a whole new level of customization there with the survivors too, because, I mean, there's Space Marines, you know what I'm saying? Different maps, uh, you know, like maybe like a Moon map or a Mars map or a Predator homeworld map or maybe even uh, a, somehow a wide open map on a, a colonist ship or some shit like that. That'd be cool. I feel like that's the only way that this game is going to keep going because it already has so many customization options and uh, it already has so many weapons for the Predator and so many perks and everything else that there's not really much more you can add for the Predator, um, which is kind of scary seeing as this was a $40 game, 60 if you went all in, boss to the wall and bought the Deluxe Edition. It doesn't feel worth it to me for 40 bucks, and that's kind of bad to say, but... I feel like the game, it was worth 30 bucks. It would have been worth 30 bucks. Dead by Daylight, it's worth how much Dead by Daylight is um, for an asymmetrical game that plays like this. It, 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 it's, as, it's as about as bare bones as Friday the 13th was when it came out. It has a lot of stuff there. There's just not much they can do with it. New game modes and everything else. And, and that's it sucks because I was so excited for this game. And I still enjoy playing it. I'm still going to play it until it, the flavor of the week's over. Everybody stops watching. I stop having fun with it because I've done everything. Uh, because I love asymmetrical games too. But at the same time, it's more or less the fact of... It's never good to have a first impression of this game's going to be dead in a month. Um... Now, don't let that get you down. If you do have the spare 40 to just throw for a Flavor of the Week game or Flavor of the Month game, do it because it's really fun. It is fun for what it is. It is fun even with its clunkiness. It is fun even with its low FPS as Survivor and Predator. It, it's still fun. I like the mechanics of having the Predator have a second chance. I like the mechanics of having the Predator have a self-destruct feature once he, once he goes down. And if they fuck around too much, they get blown up and they don't get as much XP as they would. Um, I like that. I feel like the self-destruct uh, 
ability should be lowered on the time that it takes to go off. But that's beside the point. That's more of a balancing thing. The balance feels fairly good uh, besides just the gameplay mechanics faltering and not being able to lunge. If I would have been able to lunge, I would have won most of the fights I got in because I played it smart. I picked them off. But even with picking them off, by the time I was able to actually get to the person when the lunge wasn't working, their backup had already got there and I was already getting shot in the fucking back by a fucking minigun. So I had to run and heal. Um, so, I don't want this to deter you from buying the game if you have the money to buy the game. If this, if if it's between, okay, I can either buy Predator or I can buy Final Fantasy VII, buy Final Fantasy VII. If it's between, hey, I can buy Predator or I can buy Dead by Daylight and a character on Dead by Daylight, buy Dead by Daylight. Uh, if you have all of those games, you have every game that you really want that's around 40 bucks. Or if you want to go all out for 60 if you have every game that you want for that price and you don't want another game that's going to prohibit you from getting this game, then get this game. It's fun for what it is uh, in its current state. Now, my view could change over the next few weeks. I could tell you to don't touch this game whatsoever. I could tell you to go out and buy this game right now. But being an asymmetrical game fan, uh, loving Dead by Daylight loving friday the 13th once it got its uh content added i can honestly say this is a game that you would have fun with if you have every other game that you want at the moment uh if you don't mind clunky gameplay if you don't mind uh that's really just what gets me it's clunky gameplay if, and if you don't mind kind of knowing that there's not going to be much more content besides game modes added uh, and I hate saying that, and it's rough saying that, because I was so excited for this game. I'm going to continue to play it. Like I said, I'm having fun with it. I'm not trying to shit on it. I'm just being honest uh, that I don't see it living for a year or even six months. Unless they do some heavy bullshit that I'm not expecting to add content to the game. But again, don't let that deter you. If you love Predator, if you've been a fan of Predator since you were growing up like I have, go get the game. That's why I bought it. I've been a fan of Predator since I was a little... Uh, and I know a lot of you guys go way back further than I do. I'm 22. You guys were probably, some of you guys were probably going to the theaters to see the first Predator movie in 87. So, if you're a huge fan of Predator, buy the game. Definitely. Also, I need to say that. If you're a huge fan of Predator, buy the game. You're going to have fun with it. Uh, if you're not the biggest fan of Predator, not the biggest fan of asymmetrical games, but you want to give it a go, buy Dead by Daylight. And if you really like Dead by Daylight and you start, you're interested in Predator, buy Predator. But... I would, if this is someone's first asymmetrical game and they're wanting to get into it, I would highly recommend Dead by Daylight over this game. And I apologize for saying that. I might get some hate for it, but the game is really clunky as it is, and I don't see much more content being added. This game is definitely worth buying at half price or even at 30 bucks if it drops down, you know, 10% on the price. So that's my opinion on the games. That's my first impression of the game, guys. I didn't expect this video to go for almost 20 minutes, but is what it is um i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh please like comment and subscribe we're playing the game for however long it takes for us to get bored of it also playing some final fantasy 7 after we get done playing the game uh every night on stream so if you guys are interested in that twitch.tv slash tootin tv we'll see if our opinion changes we talk about the game live on stream uh more than i can actually think about here because i'm actually playing the game and i can get my thoughts and shit out uh then and there so yeah there's that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video links in the description to my twitter and my twitch check those out and i will see you guys on the next video peace out